morning. Welcome to Freel on Friday. I'm Joanna Freel, Heritage Rep of the Chislehurst Society, telling local history stories. And here I am back in the churchyard at St Nicholas Church, but beside a very important grave to one of our illustrious residents, that is Sir Malcolm Campbell. I'm going to give you a speed tour of the Speed King's life in Chislehurst. Malcolm Campbell was the first to break the land speed record and go over 300 miles per hour, and that was in 1935. He also broke the water speed record. He was an important character in the last century. He was born here in Chislehurst in 1885 in a house that was then called Rossmore. It's called West Witheridge now, and it's on Prince Imperial Road. He went to primary school just 500 yards from the house at Hornbrook House School, which is now a car park. He was obviously keen on speed because as a little boy, he was caught by the police for going on his bicycle down Summer Hill with his hands in his pockets and scaring old ladies. He was taken to the magistrate's court and the magistrate, who didn't know what was coming in the future, said to him, young man, I'm going to fine you and I never want to see you going at such speeds ever again. The family moved to Northwood, which is a house just down the road here in Manor Park. And unfortunately, Malcolm had a row with his dad at that point and left Chislehurst forever. So the blue plaque that is on the family home at Bonchester in Camden Park Road is totally erroneous. Malcolm never lived there. His parents did. During the First World War, Malcolm joined the Royal Flying Corps and he landed his aeroplane on Chislehurst Cricket Ground when he came to visit his parents. Um, his illustrious uh, motor career at Brooklands, racing his cars, which were all called Bluebird, um, all happened between the wars. Malcolm Campbell was to die just after the Second War in, on New Year's Eve in 1948. He's one of the very few racing drivers to die of natural causes, not in a racing accident. And he's buried here in Chislehurst. There were flowers all over the grave. And there are two people here in the village who remember singing at his funeral as young choir boys. And what they particularly remember is seeing the iconic bluebird on the coffin. <laughs>